brand new NES Classic Edition, obviously. It's got 30 games in here. It was actually really hard to find. I got order on Amazon. Like the minute it came on there, I had to go order it. And it was sold out maybe 30 minutes later. But there's a back on here. You got tons of games in here. So you got like Mario Bros, you got Punch-Out, Mega Man, a whole bunch of great games in here like Castlevania, all that kind of stuff. Let's go and get right into this unboxing though, and see what's inside, and see what small this is, because I know it's going to be pretty tiny, just based on seeing it online. Pull this out. That's how I open it. So right now you got the game console, you got the little power brick, it's an iPhone brick, obviously, right there. Get off the side, you do have the cables now, the cables, the power brick looks kind of weird though. The power thing, and then you got the controller first. The controller, it's pretty, it actually looks pretty nice. The only downfall of this one though is how small the cable is. I've heard about complaints about how small the cable is, people are not liking it. So let's get the twist tie, and see how long this cable is. This cable looks pretty tiny from my seeing it right now. I'll bundle the, this out. And see how tiny this is. So, I don't know how long this is, but it is not long at all. So there's better be some extensions or something like that. Or make this longer. And obviously it's not USB either. So, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Maybe there's going to be some extensions. But let's get right into the rest of it, which is like the manuals. Manuals look like the old ones when it came to the game. I think this is a poster. It looks like a poster. And this is a poster. It's a huge poster. Now you're playing with power. So the original one from back in the day. It's cool to see that on there. So let's go and bundle that back up. Make sure it's not wrecked. Let's throw it outside. And so now you got the original console in here. But first there's some more cables to go through though. So you can leave it the best for last. So I think it's the power cable right here. So the power cable. It's just your standard kind of U uh, USB type C, I believe, and it's basically like an Android cable in a way. So, and PS4 cables, controller cable, right there for the power. And then we do have the final thing, which is the HDMI. The HDMI, standard one. Obviously, it's just simple. It's not that long. It's not that great. So, they're off to the side. And now on the main feature of this, which is the console. The console, very small though, as you can tell. Look how tiny that thing is. Looks like it's a novelty item, but it's not. It works perfectly fine. The buttons click, all that kind of stuff. The controller cable goes right into there. We'll see right there. It works, so on. Put that out of there. So on the back, you do have the standard HDMI out and the DC in right there. And that's about it for the back. But look how tiny this is compared to my hand. This is literally going to fit almost in the palm of my hand. Look at this. It's crazy. My hand's not even that big or that small. So standard human hand and it fits like exactly so that's crazy you think it'd be a novelty item at first but nope it's an actual working console so that was the unboxing for nintendo classic edition we do have an extra controller right there i don't know if i just want to unbox that quickly to see what's inside so extra controller was about 12.99 canadian on there let's get right into that so the packaging is really bad for that but right there for the, the standard controller thing there's nothing else in there just a standard controller wrapped up and it looks the exact same as the other ones. So you got this one, same length, along with the one that came to the console. So anyway, that was the two controllers that came with the Nintendo NES Classic Edition. It's pretty tiny. It's about $80 Canadian. It's actually a pretty good value, I guess, with 30 games in there. So anyway, I'd recommend me maybe picking that one up because it's got a lot of classic games that everyone loves to play. So we are here to some Super Mario Bros. Uh, gameplay from the classic edition of the NES. Let's go play this. Hit one player mode. And see this is because I've never played this before on the actual NES because I was w born way after it was even made. But let's try this out though. Got that. Oh damn, mushrooms. Click on that. So I've never played this game before on the console. 
Like, I don't, have, I don't know a Wii U or anything like that. Standard PS4 and Xbox One, but let's go through this. I've played this game on, like, PC before with emulators. But it's cool playing with an actual controller, though. It's a different experience. But now we get the mushroom. Not the mushroom, the flower. There you go. Aw, oh, damn it. That one mushroom just kills you. Come on. Ah, that was easy. Ah, oh, there's only coins. I thought it'd be like a flower again. Jump through here. Still haven't died yet. I'm glad about that. Can I go and... Oh, I just can't do that. Go up here. Ah, oh, just missed it completely. That was actually pretty good. Plays exactly like the emulators. But it's way better to control her, though. I gotta add that. Oh, we're on the ground. Oh, damn. Let's get all these. Yeah, shroom, too. There we go. Oh, crap. Take two out with one stone. Wait for this. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how do you get through here, though? There you go. Too big. Let's go. There you go, double. Jump through here. Give me all those coins. Jump through without dying. There you go. Killing it now. Now let's go back up, up to the main outside. Oh, that was easy. That was a simple level. Didn't even die at all or even get hit, I guess. It's actually not that bad. I'm liking that. There we go. Let's try getting this. Oh, it's a flower. Let's go. Let's do this. Come on. Oh, that was sick. Oh, damn it. Oh, that was close. Oh, crap. This guy out. Ah, oh, I was gonna do a jump on top of him. Oh my god. Okay, so died in there. Let's move on to the next thing, though, I guess. Game over. So the game's actually pretty fun playing the, using a controller on the, the new Classic Edition of NES. The NES is pretty cool so far. It's cool at playing all these old games, because I've never played all these old games before. But let's go and get right into the... So let's move on to the next thing, which is Tecmo Bowl from 1990. Now, Tecmo Bowl, it's no man, but it is not that bad of a game from what I've seen. So let's go pick a team. we got Indianapolis, Cleveland, Denver, Los Angeles... Uh, we'll go with maybe Los Angeles. There, who are you gonna face? Minnesota, okay, the Vikings. So week one, I've maybe played this once or twice so far. Let's try this though. Hopefully I'm not that bad. Turn the kick off. Okay, gotta make some jukes here. Aw, oh, I made it to about the 27. Go. Oh, just beasting. He's gonna go all the way to the end zone, and that is gonna be a. Wait, 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 hold up. Aw, oh, never mind. It's like the 13 yard line. A great run, though. Oh my god. Oh my. It's going down, and that is a touchdown. There we go. Bo Jackson is a beast in this game. So we're up, I guess, 6 nothing. I had to get the convert. 
it's cool when you do that little animation at the end. Stop motion. Let's try this though. I'm, I'm brutal at this. There we go, full power. Way high in the air. But we're up 7 0 here against Minnesota. Let's try. Hopefully, I'm not that bad in defense. There we go. Okay, that's gonna. Whoa, how deep is this kick? Way in the end zone. Holy crap. Okay, come on. Make the tackle. There we go to about the 20 yard line. I'll be this guy. Oh, he's getting around the outside. Oh, there we go. Come on, stop him. Oh, I missed that tackle. Damn it. He's gone. He is gone. I can't even control any other players. Oh, he missed it again. No, he's gone. He is gone. I'm garbage at this game. Come on. That white guy can get him. That's brutal. So it's 7 6 now after two plays. Damn that. Holy crap. Okay, we gotta try and make a good, comp, a good uh, kick, kick off rate. Right. Oh, it's like only to the 10 yard line. Come on. He's got good blocks. Oh, I can't break the tackle though. Come on, break tackle. Oh, turnover on downs. Are you kidding me? Come on, break tackle. Oh, wide open. And he missed both tackles. That's. Are you kidding me? The defense isn't that bad. So, four, or 13 to 7. It's going to be 14 to 7 pretty quickly. Let's try another run. Third and one. Go around the outside. And we are gone. Touchdown. Cool. So now it is a 21 to 13 game. Gotta make this convert though. That's all I need. So at least we're making a comeback. Bo Jackson's a beast. Come on. Make the tackle. Make the tackle. Come on. No, no, no. He got around the edge. Come on, make tackle. Finally. That's a huge return for them though. Are they actually going for it? Come on, stop him. No, what? They didn't go Oh my god. I can't even change my player. They're gone. That is terrible. Just walks in there, touchdown. And they still tackle him in the end zone. But we finally scored another touchdown. Boa has like two or three. Oh, this game is terrible right now. Come on, get through the line. You can't get a sack and you leave him open again. And he missed the tackle. Oh my god. There, at least they got a tackle though, I guess. So game's over, I think. Yeah, Minnesota destroyed us, so... I don't even know this game. The I guess it was good for its time, but compared to like what it is nowadays, it's, it's pure garbage. It's not really that good. So anyway, I'll just go into the next game and see what other games are on this console. So now here's some Pac-Man though, Pac-Man. Yeah, this is going to be lit here. Come on. I got my own angles how to do this. So one thing I point out right now though is the controls. Like you really have to go and uh, like predict what you're gonna be doing, doing next. Like these controls are just I don't know. The buttons are kind of sticky. That's what I'm saying. Come on. Yeah, I can't, I can't even. I tried hitting up there, but it would not do anything. Like that's the only bad thing so far about it. It's really. Sticky buttons, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it's a controller or the game. It's definitely one of them, though. I'll wait till they come. And then we'll go and eat them. Feasting on them. Come on, I'm doing it again. There we go. Let's go up to get some more. Give me that. Oh my god. I was so close, I was gonna hit, I was turning, but of course it wouldn't do anything. Oh my god. Oh, it did it again! This is horrible! Oh my god. I'm not this bad, I'm not this bad. Come on. I'm just gonna do normal turns. Get the huge chunks of area. I guess you have to have one, like, firm button press. Not a couple. Or not. Oh, that was close. That was close. It's all on me, though. Come on, get around here. 
Go. Come on. Here's the thumbs after a while, I'm trying to do firm button presses. Oh my, I did it again! Oh, this game is brutal right now. Oh, it's doing it again. There we go. This really, like, it hurts when it doesn't do work. Probably could have been done by now if those buttons wouldn't stick. Oh man, they almost got me there. Oh, I got cornered. I could have gone the other way, but... Oh well. This time I'll be able to do it, though. So only firm button presses will work. Oh, I tried doing it again. It didn't work. There you go. Now it's working. Partially. There you go. It actually worked the time. Get them all. Oh, that cornered me. Couldn't do anything about that one. Come on. Come on, this is my opportunity. There we go, finally did it. Okay, so you finally complete one at least, I guess. I'll, I'll do one more though. Come on, get around here. Try this. Let's feast. Give me whatever this is. Strawberry. There you go, finally. Everybody's here. Big family fiesta here. Oh, I did it again! Oh, I want to smash this controller every time that does that. It hurts. Okay, I'm done this. It hurts playing trying to play this game though. So we're gonna play the classic here, Donkey Kong. Let's get right into this quickly though. Come on, I I think I'm pretty at this game. Come on. It's all about predictions. Are they gonna go down the ladder? Or are they not? Who knows? Ooh, they went down the ladder. That one went down the ladder again. Cool. Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, that was a good prediction. Oh, my. I should've stayed in the ladder. Should've stayed in the ladder. Actually, no, I probably would've rolled down the ladder, too. Make sure it doesn't get in the way. Oh, another jump. Oh, that's close. There we go, made it up. Cool. So it's pretty easy, I guess. Let's go to the next level. Next level is hard, I've tried this before. Oh no. Let's get an umbrella. Oh, I felt. So if you fall down, you die. If you hit that gold thing, I know you die. Oh, it jumped there. Okay, let's try the next. Come on. Better not be over. Game over already. Only three lives. Wait, well, you know what? Yeah, three lives is what it was. Roll down here. Oh man, I, I'm so used to like, in regular games where you just drop down and you'll land. This one you can't, you just jump every time. Get down here. Oh, I didn't even see that. Came out of nowhere. Wait for it, and then jump. Go down this one. I don't know what that orange spark thing is doing. It's climbing. What? 
Oh, what even happened there? I just jumped. Oh my god, this is rigged. Okay, let's go on to the next game, the last one. Let's go see what we can find. So one game I wanted to, always wanted to play on the console was Metroid. I've heard about how good it was. Let's get started here and see how good a game this is. Okay, so what do we do exactly? So you shoot. Okay. So I'm a noob, I've never played this before. Okay, you get up by there. At least if you don't, if you, wait. What is that? Okay, <laughs> I had no idea what that was. So I guess it's like a collectible or something, I don't know. Something to get you points. But at least on here though, if you fall, if you jump down, like say you jump up here, and you jump down, you don't actually die like you do in Donkey Kong, so I guess that's pretty good. It's way better than Donkey Kong there. Got some bats. What the heck is that? Shoot those. Can roll, what the heck? It's crazy. Up here. Shoot that and get right through. So I never before played this like any Metroid game ever. Before. Through here. Come on. Let me try this though. Can you roll through? Oh no, you die. Okay, I think I'd roll through him and just hit him. It's a game over already. I didn't know what I was doing. Oh, it doesn't travel far. Damn it. How do you even kill those things? He can't shoot from that far. So let's try one more time though. Okay, so I know you can shoot up. That's how you do it. Okay. I was wondering how you kill those things. There we go. Now I got the hang of this. Now I gotta make sure not to get killed here though. Oh damn, what are those? What are those? What the heck? Jump over this. Jump over that. There we go, I went through. Cool. Okay, now I gotta watch it here. Really gotta watch it. Gotta jump up. Can't kill those things. There, now I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna tear. Time this up right. This is jumping everywhere here. Okay, gotta wait for this. Time it up right again. There we go, now I'm killing it. Time this up again. Oh man, that's that's unlucky. Okay, so I'm done that. I don't. Th these levels kind of take forever, so I'll go on. Actually, yeah, I guess I'll end this episode off right here. So that was all the NES Classic Edition gameplay. Pretty fun games for their time, and they're they're pretty fun, I guess. Now you can even compare to all the new games, the good graphics, which proves that you don't need good graphics to have a good time on a console. But anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.